Lux lovers and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. It's been a long time coming, but I'm excited. I never thought I would make it onto YouTube, but you asked and I tried to deliver. Some of you may be joining me here from our Lux Sundays. I haven't really figured out how we're going to transition the Lux Sundays onto YouTube and whether it's going to be every Sunday on YouTube answering the previous week's questions or most asked questions. But at least for this video, we are going to go through, here's my phone. Um, I've got the most asked questions that I get on Lux Sundays. Hermes edition. So we're starting strong with Hermes. There's a lot to cover, but I'm going to try and get through as much as I can. By the way, my name is Joanna and I've been working in the luxury industry for the past eight years. And I've sort of covered all grounds from publishing all the way to retail merchandising, specifically within the luxury industry. I love sharing my knowledge with you. And a lot of you are very interested to learn about Hermes. I used to work for the brand. My answers are, of course, based on my personal experience working for the brand, working in the luxury space and my personal experience. So take it with a grain of salt. I hope it's informational, I hope it's educational, and that you can incorporate some of this knowledge in your journey. One of the most asked questions is, is it possible to buy an Hermes bag online? The answer, the short answer to that is yes, it is possible. There are many wonderful accounts on YouTube and Instagram who cover the sort of Hermes website tracking, I guess you could call it. Uh, internationally but the sort of long form answer to that is it depends which bag very often you can get picotins you can get uh, her bags and many many others I have seen on the website but you have to be very quick they do tend to go very quickly so to sum it up try to stay ahead of it follow some of these accounts that do this kind of full time, the website scanning, it can be very useful to see where and when those drops are happening and then consequently what you can score online because there is quite a lot that you can score. Okay, the next few questions are going to be about Hermes wish lists. And I think that's a very elusive concept within Hermes. You might remember this scene from Sex and the City where Samantha goes and asks for a Birkin and is told that there is a waiting list. It's 4,000. I know. And there's a waiting list. I assumed. Five years. For a bag? It's not a bag. It's a Birkin. It kind of created this idea in people's heads that you had to be on a waiting list, that you had to put your name down and just patiently sort of wait. And while there is an element of truth to that, I would say it is not entirely how the wishlist concept really works. So I'm going to try and address as much of that as I can. So the first part of the question is, what is the required pre-spend to get on the Hermes wishlist? Let me debunk this for you real quick. There is no such thing as the Hermes wishlist. There is a wish list that you can create, which is very personal and very individual to you as a shopper within the brand. How it works is uh, you create your own personal wish list with your sales associate at the boutique where you shop. It's up to you to bring this up with your SA. And what they do is basically on their iPad or iPhone, they will create this quite literally a wish list for you. This wish list, uh, I'll try and see if I can find a picture of, but it basically gives the SA a bunch of bag silhouettes, bag options, bag styles. Uh, and here we're talking about the quota bag. So that would be a Birkin, a Kelly. In some countries, also a Constance would go on that wish list. It will give a bunch of options in terms of colors, colorways, more generalized like reds, blacks, blues, like that but also some leather types and hardware types. Your essay together with you will sit down and go through these options and take down your preference, which will then constitute your wish list. Now, as far as I know, in Europe, you can only ever have one item per one quota bag 
on your wish list at any one time. So say on your wish right now is a Birkin 25 in black. I don't know, let's say you want to go for blacks or darks or grays. You cannot then go and ask also for a mini Kelly. That would be a separate wish. So the wish list, uh, as far as I know, and I know this changed recently in the UK, was valid for eight months. This used to be six months. Now it's eight months. And after those eight months, if your wish hasn't been fulfilled, you can go and amend that or start a new wish with a different essay. You can change boutique and open a wish list there. Uh, worth noting that when you're transiting uh, or transitioning boutiques or essays, say your essay has left and you're going to a different boutique and you're going to start from scratch with a different essay at that boutique, it will not automatically transfer your wish. And if you wish to start a new wish list at the new boutique, that would have to start from scratch. Now, the second part of this question was, what is the required pre-spend? From that, I gather, and I'm gonna answer this plainly how I understand it, there is no minimum pre-spend to start a wish list Anybody can walk into a boutique and start a wish list. By anybody, I mean you or somebody who shops at Hermes, has shopped once or twice, maybe bought some small items. You can go to your, you can approach your essay and ask to start a wish. That's not guaranteed that you will get anything. A lot of people have their wishes expire and have to then start from scratch. As I said, you can then start with a different wish. Your wish uh, is worth noting, can be amended for the duration that that wish uh, list will be active, you can go and say, I no longer want that Birkin 25. Actually, I wanna go for a mini Kelly instead, for example. The next question is about Hermes in Paris. And if you followed me for a long time, you would know that Paris is the only, perhaps the only place where you do not need any pre-spend. You do not need a purchase history in order to be able to buy a quota bag. Now, this question is referring to Paris. I am in Paris trying to get an application, but failing. I am staying at the hotel close to the Hermes store. I don't know which one. What can I do? My advice would be, and I did a video on this, keep applying with your passport. You need unique details every time you apply at the Rendezvous website. I'll include that website here and keep doing it every day. The way the lottery system for appointments works is a day in advance. So you wanna visit the website a day before you want your appointment, ideally. You need unique details, a unique passport number, unique email every time. So try and do it for yourself, but then anyone else that you're also traveling with. If you're close to uh, any of the Hermes boutiques in Paris, try walking in. Early morning, I would say, is best before 11 a.m or sometimes after 4 p.m. So you wanna walk in, you wanna kind of browse, see if there's anything else that you're interested in, see if you get approached by somebody. If you do, um, ask, just ask. Uh, I would say that's the best strategy. And you might get lucky, you might get an appointment on the spot, you might get a sort of little card that they give you for an appointment on the following day with a leather specialist who might be able to assist you. Uh, but in general, yes, there is a, a high success rate for walk-ins as well. I'm going to try and sort of address the next three questions as a bundle of questions because they are very similar. The first question is, almost a one-to-one -one spend for quota bag, a Kelly slash Birkin, we don't know which one how to bring up the conversation with my essay without seeming desperate. I think and will always advise you to be as transparent as possible as early on in the relationship with your essay as possible. In some cases, if you have a budget around what you want to achieve at the brand or how you want to shop with the brand or you know a budget structure about how you want to shop, it's better to communicate that rather than assume that somebody who you are effectively in a business relationship with is going to guess where your head's at, if that makes sense. You wanna be obviously open about what you're interested in in the long run, because A, this lets your essay know what you're interested in, what you're excited about, what you're looking forward to, and B, you don't end up overspending to you know, blindly, what I would call shooting in the dark, 
thinking if you buy a bunch of items, that's just going to lead to ultimately what it is that you want. You don't ask, you don't get. That applies to so many luxury brands and that's why it's so important to be transparent and to be upfront with whoever is serving you whoever you're working with within those brands so that you're protecting your finances but also getting what you want which is the point at the end of the day right i wanted to include another question from a follower that i know and i'm really rooting for her because i know she will eventually get what she wants she said she spent over thirty-five thousand. I don't know the currency this year from all departments including a special order but still no bag offer so like i said i'm really rooting for her <laughs> uh she's got really great consistency I, I actually know this follower and i she speaks to me on a regular basis she's got a great relationship uh with her essay and a great spread across different categories and when she says i'm shopping homeware you know she's buying jewelry accessories a special order was offered to her so she's already passed that threshold of in the report with her essay uh timing i think here is very important to consider because typically uh it's one bag per semester although the quota dictates that you can get two bags per person per year okay next do slgs count towards building your hermes profile i'm gonna go ahead and say I don't think SLGs are something that's necessarily worth it when you're buying not just into RMS but any brand unless it's out of necessity and unless it's something that you particularly love or collect. Let me explain. I can understand the appeal of SLGs because in a lot of cases what brands do, they've got this pricing pyramid right so in the pricing pyramid you're going to have your items at the very top so that would be from couture all the way to the very very high price bracket of products and most people would not find themselves at, at that level right let's be realistic so what most people are looking at when entering into a relationship with a luxury brand as a shopper is really the entry level categories so that can be cosmetics. Those are kind of the entry level products that pretty much anybody can buy. And then the entry level products, which are SLGs. So these products tend to give this idea, this aura of you're buying into the luxury experience, but what it is that you're really buying is basically something that's mo more often than not a recycled piece of leather that didn't make it into a bag or for Hermes specifically the Petit Ash is a very popular category because people think they're buying into Hermes and getting a product at a really good price when in fact it's actually a very overinflated price for something that doesn't really cost the brand anything to make. So like I said, I can understand the appeal of SLGs. I think SLGs can be very fun. It can be a very good way to maybe build some knowledge around leathers. But realistically, if we were to look at SLGs as a whole category, it's not something that's going to A, retain its value unless you are just buying it to build your profile and reselling immediately after. And it's not going to be something that, you know, really has longevity um, as far as I'm concerned. And of course, I mean, that's just my personal opinion and input here. But yes, the SLGs do go on your profile but in the bigger picture i would say when it comes to Hermes, the best strategy if i can call it that is to diversify so really try and buy into different categories my phone died so we're gonna read it off my computer i guess the last question for today is kind of setting grounds for our next q a session and it's a love your account would like to know what job you do as you're such an Hermes expert now Thank you for your kind words. I always love comments like this. They really mean a lot to me and they really encourage me to keep sharing with you. I would hardly call myself an Hermes expert or any expert for that matter. My background is my background is in luxury brand management. I started out in merchandising. That's what I studied. I studied luxury brand identity, merchandising and business. And I've worked in my time with many super brands, including Hermes in the UK. And that's pretty much where my observations come from. 
Nowadays, I also teach about luxury branding. I share here on social media. Content creation is a big part of it, as you can see. And I've sort of slowly gone back to my passion, which is working with small, I guess, smaller independent brands, bringing new products to market, bringing new premium services to market, still within the luxury niche. So that's kind of where my heart is at, is working with brands and helping them grow and shaping amazing online experiences. So grateful for all my experience and having worked with such a range of brands because it all ultimately feeds into what I'm able to offer my clients nowadays, as well as you here on social media and my students that I teach online. So more on that soon. Until then, please like and subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. And if you are a Lux lover, join me here, join me on social media, join me on all my other channels. Make sure you let me know in the comments what you would like to see more of on this channel. Do you like these Q&A type formats or would you prefer dedicated and or prefer dedicated videos about specific topics or specific brands that I can sort of do video essays on? Let me know in the comments, like and subscribe so that you don't miss another video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.